you may have noticed that the behavior of C matrices looks a lot like the behavior of complex numbers. For example, the formula of C to the K looks a lot like the formula from the Mavre for Z to the power K. As a matter of fact, C matrices are in a certain way even more similar to complex number Z. And it's very useful if con we continue with C matrices. So let us look how similar they are exactly in this video. Let us take the matrix I, the identity matrix, as we know, 1, 0, 0, 1. And then let us define another matrix J, zeros on the diagonal, 1 and minus 1 off diagonal. So let us define a new matrix J. If we now have a C matrix, A, A, B minus B, then we can rewrite the C matrix as a linear combination of I and J, or in terms of I and J, C equals A times the matrix I plus B times the matrix J. What do we get from that? Well, let's go on. Let's take a closer look at the matrix J. We know how the matrix I behaves. So let's compute C square, J squared, because then something special is going to happen. So I have J squared, J times J. So let's see, what do we get? 0 minus 1. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 0 plus 0 equals 0. And minus 1 plus 0 equals minus 1. So what do we see? J squared equals minus I. I hope this reminds you of complex numbers. So what do we have? I basically behaves like the number 1. J basically behaves like the number I, complex number I. C, a C matrix equals A times I plus B, B times J behaves like, a, behaves like a complex number Z equals a plus B times I. So C matrices are really similar to complex numbers Z. We can also see that, for example, if we look at the polar form. If we look at the polar form of a scaling rotation matrix C, we can rewrite C in the form R times cos phi times i plus j times sine phi. Because we have a, as a a we have the cos phi, as a b we have the sine phi, and multiply everything by factor r. But then we remember the polar form of complex numbers, z equals r times cos phi plus i times sine phi. So we see they look exactly the same where the matrix J plays the role of the complex number I and the matrix I plays the role of the, co of the complex number 1. And now we see also that the formulas of the MAVO are actually the same. So if we look at the formula of the MAVRE, for high powers of a C matrix, I took C to the power K equals R to the power K, and then I needed cos K phi, cos K phi over there, sine K phi and minus sine K phi over there. If I write this in terms of I and J, we find this equals R to the power K, I matrix times cos K phi plus J matrix times sine K phi. And if we now write down the formula of the Mavre for complex numbers, as we know them, we have r to the power k, which is the same, cos k phi times 1 plus i times sine k phi. So we see that it also looks exactly the same. And how are we going to use this? Well, in some cases, a polar form of a complex number is more useful. In some cases, a polar form of a C matrix is more useful. In some cases, 
the uh, Cartesian form of a complex number, z equals a plus bi, is more useful. And sometimes the say Cartesian form of a C matrix is more useful. We can also we, we want to remember this and always use the form which is most convenient for our computations.